everybody, how's it going? This is Danny, the Wicked Awesome Gardener, coming at you from the Wicked Awesome Garden. And today, we are gonna talk about praying mantis in the garden. And today's episode is very important. It's a little bit shorter than some of the others because the information I'm gonna give you isn't very extensive, but it is very, very important. So I really want you to watch, I want you to listen, and I want you to remember this because this is very important to your ecosystem in your garden and uh, your pollinators and all of that. But before we get into that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and hopefully at the end, let me know what you thought, give me a comment, because this is actually a very important issue and I really, really want to make sure that people are getting this message and hearing it and getting this video out. So with that done, you've clicked that subscribe button, let's move on. Today, we are releasing in the garden, praying mantis. Well, maybe not today, it's got a hatch, but hopefully, hopefully soon. We've had this egg case for about a week or so, and this is the first time I've gotten a chance to do the video on it. Now, does this egg case look slightly different than the ones that you are used to seeing? This is the Uthika or egg case of a Carolina mantis. You can see it is long, it is cylindrical, and it just kind of tapers down like that. That is what you want in your garden. You want to find these. You want to find Carolina mantis. This is the native species. They are smaller than the other species I'm gonna talk about. These little powerhouses are going to eat your bad bugs. All the things in your garden that you do not want. Um, they won't eat aphids though, for example, so you'll still want to try to attract ladybugs and green lacewings. Um, I'm actually going to order some of both of those and see if I can get some in my garden later if I see aphids show up. So far, I'm clear. Shh. Hopefully they didn't hear me. So these are the guys that you want. However, if you go shopping for praying mantis, a lot of what you're going to see out there are going to be egg cases that are about the size of a golf ball. They'll be round or kind of square shaped. And those are the invasive Chinese mantis. Now, a lot of people will argue and say, well, it's been here for a hundred years. So now it's a native species, not invasive. And um, no, that's, that's not how that works. The reason that you don't want the Chinese mantis in your garden is because while they do eat the bad bugs, don't get me wrong, and a lot of people will buy them because they are a powerhouse for that, on the flip side, you're really hurting yourself because they also eat your pollinators. They will eat your bees. They will eat your butterflies. They will even eat hummingbirds. Yeah, hummingbirds. And people do love the Chinese mantis for the powerhouse that it is, and the thing is, you're really doing yourself a disservice because not only are you releasing something that's going to kill your native mantis, it's also going to kill your pollinators. In doing my research for this, I have seen things from the Audubon Society that actually recommend destroying Chinese mantis egg cases when you come across them in the wild. And if would I see them in my garden, I would do the same because I really want to establish that ecosystem in my garden where the bad things are being taken care of and the good things are encouraged to come in. When you are shopping for mantis, make sure that you are looking for the native Carolina mantis specifically. It's going to be a far better decision for you than the Chinese mantis. I feel like I'm kind of fighting a losing battle because everybody goes, yay, it's a mantis, it's great. Not always. And with the wide availability of the Chinese mantis egg sacs, it's really, really hard to get the right thing. I had to go to a couple of different sites. Almost everything I found on Amazon was a Chinese mantis. So you've gotta go looking for the right thing. You need to search Carolina mantis specifically. And if the picture does not look like this, don't buy it. It's just so easy to get the Chinese mantis versus the Carolina mantis when people don't know what they're looking for. And also the Chinese mantis produces more per egg case than the Carolina mantis. Here you might have 50 to 100, but you might get 200 or more in a Chinese mantis egg case. In addition, the Chinese mantis are bigger and they will eat these buggers. So it's a little hard, but I'm going to keep releasing these Carolina mantis in my garden 
so that hopefully it kind of balances out and they can establish their own little ecosystem here and we don't have too many of the Chinese mantis wandering in to eat them. So let me show you how I'm gonna hang it up. Now you wanna put these guys where they're going to be protected from birds. So it's gonna be kind of camouflaged if I put it here. So you can see right here, you see that line going up. This is where the stick was that it was attached to when the mantis laid the egg sac. So we're gonna just put it there and gonna grab it with a twist tie. There we go. Turn it just a little bit there. And there we go, there is the Carolina Mantis egg sac, safely hidden in among the peas. Wonderful. Speaking of peas, look at them all. Woohoo, I'm gonna harvest. <laughs> there is the Carolina Mantis egg sac, and hopefully you guys take that information in and you spread this around because people don't realize the difference and how big a difference it can be. So if you can do me a favor, share this video, get it out there, get it to your garden groups, make sure that they know if they're going to release mantis in their gardens for pest control, make sure they're getting the Carolina mantis, not the Chinese mantis, and help us build a ecosystem for our native species that's going to be much more beneficial to our gardens. All right, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment, let me know if you've ever released mantis, if you knew that this was an issue, um, because this is something that I learned when researching um, what kind of mantis to let go in my garden and somebody told me well watch out and so I did my research and wow I was surprised with what I found um, you can even find on YouTube videos of the Chinese mantis catching a hummingbird it's crazy so do me a favor like subscribe comment share have a great day guys while we grow wicked awesome food from yard to table if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please click here for more content. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to go through this journey with you while we grow something wicked awesome from yard to table.